Happy, happy, happy day. That's a little bit of Phil Robertson to get you started from Duck Dynasty, my favorite show. Matt here. I told you I had a video coming. It is uh, Monday, and we've got some severe weather to talk about, folks. Let's get started right off. Let's go to the uh, SPC, which is the Storm, Predi Storm, Predi Storm Prediction Center's Day 2 Convective Outlook. This is going to change today. Um, once we get close to the actual event, these guys really start paying more attention. As you can see, we have a slight risk out for the entire area, which does come up into western Indiana. I expect it to fully entrench, you know, central uh, central Indiana over time. Well, that might have been an update right there. I don't know. Or it might have been my computer. But I first want to say also, I want to get this out of the way. I've been, uh, Michael Clark, Maurice Chamel, um, Joseph Rankin, Michael Wade Moss, uh, Lucas, have all been on this way before me. I, I'm the, they, knew, they knew this was coming. I had a feeling it was coming, but I wanted to make sure till last night. I didn't quite buy it, but I buy it now. So that's the important thing. But props out to those guys. Um, they're doing a fantastic job keeping you covered on this. But I am now in the camp. I wanted to wait till the last set of models ran last night to see what was coming, to see if they stuck with this, as these things often at times do not materialize especially it being January. And folks, let me tell you something. I've heard a lot of people say, well, this is rare. No, it's not. Severe weather can happen any time of the year. Yes, this is uncommon. This is not rare. We need to get that straight because I've seen a lot of people posting that. So with that, category, uh, probabilistic, that's pretty, that's pretty bad right there, folks. Two days out, 30% chance. This area right here will be upgraded to a moderate tomorrow. I'm, I'm, pretty, I'm pretty sure. Maybe even this afternoon once they get a better handle. We'll probably stay in the 15% as we have more of a squall line potential right here, but this area down here is probably going to be in the moderate risk. So with that, I'm going to go straight to, I'm going with the NAM today. Oh, I know you guys are going to yell at me. The NAM has been terrible this year, but I think it has a good handle. I think they're all coming in line perfectly. This is the NAM simulated radar. And I'm going to show you this first. You can see nothing going on right here in the area. Now here's the area we want to start watching. Now watch as I go forward a few frames. This is Tuesday, um, Tuesday morningish afternoon. Go forward Tuesday evening. Bam! You see it starting. See it starting to, to take shape. Now watch these next couple frames. Boom! There's our squall line right there. See that yellow? And something I want to make very clear: this is going to have extremely heavy range when it comes through. Extremely heavy. It's going to be beating the bandwagon when it comes through, or whatever that term is. And you can see as it moves it through. This is this is early Wednesday, right now. It's proc from from 12 to 3 a.m. Uh, Tuesday night into Wednesday, which is terrible because everybody's asleep at that time. So if you have a weather radio, please get it going and get it on. If you don't know where to get one, ask me. Ask anybody on this page. Ask Michael Clark. Ask Joe Rankin. Ask Michael Moss. Ask any of them on this page. Ask Ask Lucas. Ask Sean Brown. He knows Sean Brown. I forgot to mention you earlier. My chase partner. How could I forget you? Ask any of those guys where to get one if you want one, or me. As you can see, the squall line moves through. Flurries on the backside, maybe, and don't, I don't expect any accumulation on Wednesday, and that system's gone. Let's go now to the NAM. And the reason why I'm running the NAM is this is the fresh 12Z. It just came out. So I want to run this. Look at this ridge right here. Look at this. Boom. You talk about a separation of air masses. Look at these two air masses right here. You've got a, a colder ridge coming down right here. You've got a warm ridge right here. You got to know when you start seeing that and you start seeing these wind profiles, something's coming. Something's coming. And let me add also, it's going to be super windy today all the way through tomorrow. This is just isobaric pressures starting to spread themselves out. These little lines right here. Now watch these lines as I go forward. The tighter they get, the windier it gets. Now watch this low explode. This isn't the one we're looking at. This is one of many along this front that's going to happen. So boom, we're going forward. We're into Tuesday. We're mid-afternoon Tuesday. Okay, here it is. Here, here's our big boy right here. Here we go. It's starting. The ridge is really pumped up. Look at this. Okay, it's probably 60 right here in Illinois. It's probably in the 20s or 30s back here in Nebraska. Boom, boom. Major clash of air masses. Something like what we see in March, but this is January. There's a little bit more at play here, uh, uh, working these storms, and I'll tell you what that is here in a second. But look, the NAM, here it goes. That is heavy, heavy rain, folks, and along with severe weather. Now, I want to explain one thing to you all. That's a squall line. 
I mean, that, that's, that's a classic squall line signature. And look, at the, look at the cold air coming in be, behind it. I'm going to show you a picture real quick. This is what we're probably going to be looking at tomorrow, something like this. Now, let me explain to you guys that all, not all squall lines are the same. Meaning, you can be in Bloomington, and the squall line may not be as strong as, say, in Indianapolis. The squall line strength varies along the line, all the way down through the country, and this is going to be a pretty long squall line. Now, if you start seeing this right here, this bowing out like I've pointed out, that is where it's really starting to get cranked up, and that's where your heaviest winds are going to be. And we're talking 70 mile an hour plus. I wouldn't, I wouldn't doubt it. We have a very strong low-level jet ab above. And I'm not going to get into low-level jet because I want to keep things easy here. <laughs> I'm with my mother today. She just nodded in approval. But <laughs> if you start seeing this on radar and I start posting pictures of this and this is coming towards you, take cover. This is strong, strong winds. Also, I don't have an image of it. If we start seeing notches in this line, like a little carved-out notch, that is a tendency for weak EF0, EF1 tornadoes to form. The environment's there tomorrow. It could happen. Any severe thunderstorm can have a tornado. So I want you all to remember that. This is the kind of line we'll be looking at. I'm not sure where it's going to blow out. Nobody can tell this. It's a now cast type situation. But this is the type of line we'll be seeing. It'll come through fast, and then behind it, heavy rain will accompany it. So it's going to be a quick hitter, very quick hitter, in between the hours of 10 and 3, somewhere in there. 10 tomorrow night and 3. So, um, Actually, I think that's all I have for you today. I... Uh, want you to be aware these are the three things lightning very deadly lightning with the squall line heavy rain I'm I'm thinking rain a, an inch definite maybe two maybe three we are we do have a flood watch out for central Indiana I expected that was coming um, just remember to keep your weather radios on this is this does look like it's mom you can walk more than that <laughs> just keep your weather radios on and be ready for tomorrow. Um, I will update. Like I said, we do not know how strong the squall line is going to be. It could be super strong. It could be weak. It could be moderate. It could be anything, folks. Be ready. The potential is there for a very dangerous line to come through. And when I'm clapping my hands, I'm trying to pin a point down to these to everybody here because I, I don't want anybody here getting hurt or injured. So that is all I have, I think. Um, I've showed you everything I wanted to show you. I will update tomorrow. Maybe not video-wise, but as the situation warrants, everybody please stay safe.